Dave knows how. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about um, the landscape rake. Some people might call this a rock rake or a root rake. A lot of different names. There is another rake that's made similar to this rake, but it is not the same rake. It's called a pine needle rake. And I've actually seen a pine needle rake in action over on one of the channels that I subscribe to. A very good friend of mine, Don. His channel is Houndsman1, if you haven't already checked it out. I invite you to go over and check out his channel. It's uh, very interesting. He's got a lot going on over there. And anyway, he has a pine needle rake. And after seeing that pine needle rake in action, I'm telling you, I I've been wanting one ever since. Uh, I've dug around a little bit. I found that they do have them at Agri Supply at a pretty good price, uh, probably cheaper than anywhere else. And um, so I'm thinking in the future that's going to be something that I'm going to try to get my hands on is a uh, uh, pine needle rake. Um, it appears, and I've never used one, but it appears to me that uh, it would be less aggressive on the, the ground as far as, uh, you know, using it. It, it wouldn't tear the yard up quite as bad as what this thing does. You, if you run this thing across the yard it, it'll tear it up in a hurry um, pine needle rake uh, looks like uh, a better fit for getting up pine needles and maybe even leaves which brings me to this video um, we're going to talk about a little modification I did to the grapple and we're going to actually use this uh, landscape rake um, we've got an area down on the side of the property where we have a hot tub and um, we kind of let it go natural until it gets uh, so out of control that we just got to do something with it and we're kind of at that point now where we've got to do some cleaning up and um, we got a lot of low-lying limbs and I had a guy come in and, and cut those low-lying limbs and just drop them to the ground. Uh, I try to do it myself, but uh, I having a rough couple weeks. I haven't been feeling well, so kind of got to take it easy a little bit. So um, anyway, we're going to use the um, landscape rake on the back of the Kubota tractor. We're going to clean up those limbs, and then cleaning up those limbs, we're also going to get up a bunch of leaves. And that brings us to the modification that we've done on the grapple to help aid in getting up those leaves as well as the small limbs that we get up. So let's jump around here and look at the grapple. And with this grapple, anybody, any of you guys that's got a grapple knows, majority of the front of the grapple and the back and the bottom of the grapple is open. So it doesn't do very well picking up leaves. So there again, I was over at the uh, Houndsman's One's channel, uh, Don is his name, very nice man, and I was watching one of his videos, and I kind of somewhat got this idea from watching his video. He's got a, a grapple on the front of his tractor, and he's put a wood platform in the bottom of it so that he can, uh, you know, scoop up stuff like pine needles and stuff like that, and it doesn't fall out the bottom, you know, leaves or whatnot, and doesn't, doesn't fall out the bottom, and then he still has a clamping action on the top so that he can clamp it down and take it wherever he needs to dump it. So I kind of kind of took off from that idea and decided to do a little modification of my own. And, and, and this is not something that's going to be permanent on here. It's uh, basically a temporary thing just for me to get through getting up some of these leaves. But I may, uh, you know, try to get it fixed up where I can put this on or take it off as I need it. Right now I just kind of got it thrown on here uh, so that I can make this thing work and uh, get some of these leaves up. But anyway, it's expanded metal and um, so we've, we've put expanded metal on the inside 
And we use one of my favorite things to use, which is threaded rod, and just bend it in a U shape, run it back through, and we stuck it through these holes on the front and on the back, just, you know, go straight across here. If you don't have the holes, you can go straight across here and put some nuts and flat washers on the back side. And so this closes in these big holes right here that otherwise leaves would fall out of. And uh, so now we can get some clamping action down on these piles of leaves and carry them over here to the woods and not have to worry about, you know, dropping so many leaves as we're traveling across. I mean, I know we're going to drop some, but, you know, it, it won't be as bad. So let me open this thing up and you can take a look at what it looks like. So here it is open, and um, as you can see, we've got expanded metal up in the top of this thing. We've got expanded metal down the back side, and it's just bolted in four places with U-bolts right here, 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 here. And then up at the top, the same thing. we got four here, 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 and here, and just bolted that thing up on there. And it was a little difficult to get this thing to curve up in there, but I basically just pushed it up there and got the bolt started and then used the bolt to pull it on up there and I'm thinking if I leave it like it's long enough out in this hot sun because it's like 100 and some degrees out here today uh, it'll probably end up staying somewhat formed in a bent shape like this um, I could probably put the torch to it and heat heat the expanded metal up and and until uh, it's you know pretty good and hot and, it, and then it would probably maintain this shape but uh i know it's not going to be super durable where it's not going to be beyond bending if i clamp down on it hard a stick could probably you know bend this thing in or push it around or or tear it or rip it or whatever because the clamping force on these grapples is pretty significant but um for what i want to do with it uh, as far as for picking up these leaves and moving around is I think this is a good option it might be something that uh, a lot of you guys might want to try to do with uh, whatever style grapple that you have on the front of your tractor so let's walk over here to where the hot tub is and we'll look at the mess that we've got to clean up over there that's what we're going to do we're going to we're going to use the landscape rake on the back of the tractor. We're going to rake up all these limbs, leaves, and everything. And then we're going to use the grapple with the uh, expanded metal on there to just pick up everything, leaves and all, haul it back there to the woods and dump it in a pile so it can decompose. And uh, at some point, uh, it'll be dirt. And we'll use it to uh, spread back over any low areas that we have. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, let's get uh, get the tractor fired up and start raking some of this stuff out of here and getting it up in a pile so we can uh, test out the expanded metal and see how well it's going to work.
Okay, so right here we're just going to kind of show the main objective of this expanded metal, which is to pick up, you know, leaves. So I've got a pretty decent pile of leaves right here, and um, clamping down on it pretty good. And as you can see, it picks up a good bunch, and uh, it does, you know, it does a pretty good job of, uh, you know, holding those leaves in place and not dropping them all over the place uh, it does drop some it's not perfect um, these leaves are pretty dry and typically uh, dry leaves like that I would generally vacuum up into my uh, leaf vacuum machine and uh, you can check that video out it's uh, it's on my channel uh, I've had the leaf vacuum machine for a long time. Anyway, uh, this is something that I would probably use more with really super wet leaves that the leaf vacuum uh, somewhat struggles with. It does a pretty decent job with wet leaves, but uh, sometimes it will struggle with really super wet leaves, like what comes out of a ditch that goes around the house. Um, leaf vacuum kind of struggles with them and when you got a lot of sticks in there uh, you don't want them su sucked up in the vacuum so this will do good the other thing I wanted to point out uh, is how well this thing seems to uh, the grapple you can close it and you can tilt the bucket back you know tilt the grapple back uh, uh, do all types of functions all the functions really with the front end loader while you're operating that third function valve and I'm attributing that to that locking valve um, I guess it's partially uh, the method of operating this thing that I use as well as the locking valve uh, all in conjunction together because the front end loader control it, it's plumbed in before the third function valve and so I'm feathering that um, front end loader control which is sent, you know leaving some fluid available to go out to that third function valve and since we've got back pressure from that locking valve it definitely helps so Right there, I was just kind of pushing it up, and now I'm tilting forward and raking it back to get it up into a nice pile. And you can see that I'm curling the bucket and rotating, and got a nice big heaping pile. And you know, everything just works really smooth. Uh, it, it's not, it's not jumpy. It's not. Uh, you know, in my, my previous video where I was showing the thing actually working, at some points it looked kind of jumpy. And uh, it does get jumpy from time to time, but it's it's all about how, um, how you feather that uh, front end loader control. Uh, because that is, you know, the governing factor how much you feather that thing so it's definitely uh, a game of finesse uh, it's kind of uh, a learned technique I guess you'd say uh, that you'll have to develop but I do believe that that locking valve is uh, that double piloted locking valve is aiding in that thing being able to uh, function like that I like being able to use the scrap of the rake back. And there was a good shot of how that thing closes and and rolls back. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to uh, get a video out as quick as I could and show uh, this modification with the expanded metal, how, you know, how well it did work. Uh, to you know help me to get some of these leaves up 
and you know a, a lot of these leaves had a lot was this pile that we're getting up right now is pretty much leaves it's got some sticks but nowhere near as much as the previous pile uh, that I was picking up it had a lot of sticks and I didn't film all of it because uh, it would have made the video a little bit too long but I basically I just wanted to give you an idea of you know how well this thing is working with that uh, locking valve plumbed into the system she definitely picks up a, a pretty decent uh, heap and grip of uh, leaves at a time okay so um <laughs> moved a lot of stuff out there we did sustain a little bit of uh, damage to the expanded metal it bent it up up in here a little bit and down here on this far bottom corner it bent it pretty good right in here was where I, you know but i mean you gotta understand i was picking up leaves with sticks rocks bricks all kinds of stuff in it uh well uh, because it was one or two bricks over there that was just sitting around and uh, i've kind of picked that up too so uh i would have thought it would have been a lot more damage to the expanded metal than what it is i mean as it is it's still it's still good enough to continue to use uh and go ahead and get some more get some more up I, although i've just about got it all up now uh and it, it was right much to move i didn't videotape all of it because it would have video would have went on too long video's already gone on too long so anyway gonna close the video out now um like i was saying earlier uh houndsman one don over there on his channel he's he's got a really interesting channel uh he's doing some work on the back side of his property getting ready to put in some food plots and whatnot and uh you might want to go over and check out his channel subscribe and uh hang out with him for a little bit if you enjoy what you see on my channel i'm sure you will enjoy what you see on his channel also so check him out and um give him some love and uh that's where i got this idea for this expanded metal and uh you can also see that uh pine straw uh rake that he has for the back of his tractor all right thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching